business. First thing you need, federal tax ID number. That's the first thing you need, a federal tax ID number. That's the first thing you need. Then you got to get it registered with the Secretary of State in your state. That's the second thing you need. Then you need a DUNS number. Let me show you how, how to do all of this, man. This person right here is going to help you out. I'm going to show you. Everybody should get this federal tax ID number. This, this is for everybody, man. Kids, whatever. You got to ask your parents to do it if you not over 18. But this is for everybody in the world, man. These people, right, will put you on game how to get everything you need to get in a business and getting money back from the IRS, right? Money back from your buying something. You you take your receipts. You take your receipts, right? And all the taxes that you... You know, you put on these receipts, every receipt, right? Every receipt, you, um, if you're selling a dog, right, you have a, um, you have a receipt, you have a, a receipt thing. When you sell a dog, you have it documented when you sell a dog, right? You document the shots. The money that you, you spend for gas, you document all of that, right? Document this, right? All of this receipts, right? Down payments on the dog, right? Receipts. Receipts, right? You document this. You have receipts, right? You can get this, you can get this from Staples, you can get this from Staples, a receipt book. It's always good to have a receipt book. It's always good to have a um, a black book also that you wrote down that you how much you spend, how much you uh, make, stuff like that. This is how you do business, man. This is for all people, man, to learn how to do business, man. And, you know... The, the all the links that you need is going to be in the description bar. So um, to making a business, right? You have to have come up with a name. You got to come up with a name, right? That's one thing. Then you got to get that federal tax ID number. Then you got to pay taxes in your state and the federal state. And that's how you that's how you get, you know, that's how you start it first. Right? That's how you start it. But uh, people don't put on game, they don't help people, you know. Everybody do not help people in this in this world. They don't they wanna knock you down, they wanna hate on you, they wanna judge you. People do not put game and help other people. They just want to knock you and talk bad about you and, and bullshit and you this and you that. But all I'm here is to help you and teach you about putting on game, how to get in this money off of your hobby. Off of your hobby. You could knit. You could be knitting. You could be knitting. You get this W-2 form. And you make this money, bro. Serious. That's how you do it. You get that W and you put it on there. You put all your receipts. You get accountant. Have accountant. You get all of this, man. You get this receipt. You get all of this accountant. You do all of this, man. Yo, it's not hard, man. It's not hard to make your hobby as a business. I don't give a who if you selling coffee mugs with pictures on it. I don't care if you getting you selling shirts, right? And you putting, you know, people logos on it and and your um pictures and your stuff. 
you can have a shirt business selling shirts is is websites for that also is e-commerce websites for that too there's all kinds of stuff to make money that you do not have to be on a nine to five job and um you can have your own nine to five job you go have your own hustle your own stuff your own stuff and you could get Every almost everything from Staples, man, and um, Turbo um, is it Turbo Tax. You can file your business taxes and your personal tax from Turbo Tax. Real facts. I'm trying to get this this internet working, but it, it's gonna come. Let me show you something. I think everybody needs to be on this game right here, man. Everybody needs to be on this game. Uh, you can get a website, right? You can get a website from free website, we, Weebs, W-E-B-S dot com. You could um, go to um, W-E, I, think I, I, I forgot that one, but you can get a free website, man. You don't have to pay for that, but you can. It's it's always good to have, you know, you paying for the website also. You you got to get your own domain name. You got to get your own information for people don't won't copyright you and stuff like that. But, you know, just trying to teach y'all people how to um, you know, doing this this business. Just and you got to get a partnership with YouTube. That's not hard also. You got to have your um, videos modified. You got to have all of that. You got to have your videos modified. I don't know what's going on, but, but hold on. Difficult, tif difficult. Hold on, hold on. Shut down this. Bring this back up. But you can get a lot of stuff from Staples. A lot. You can get your desk. You can get. You could call up Dell. You need a computer. You need a fax number. You need a telephone. You need all of this. You need an email. You need social media. I still got MySpace. I don't think people got MySpace, but I still got it. I still have it. People still on MySpace. You think people are not on MySpace, but they still on MySpace. They really on MySpace. Real facts. There's a lot of sites that you can advertise. You can advertise on Facebook. Instagram and this YouTube. YouTube is the biggest platform for advertisement. The biggest platform. The greatest platform there is. I can't even get to this person. Hold on, people. Hold on. Hold on, people. Hold on. Hold on, people. Hold on, people. How y'all doing out there, man? Y'all all right? Hope everything, everybody's all right. Hope everybody is safe. Even my haters, man. I hope y'all safe also. I hope y'all safe also, man. Real facts. Hope blessings to everybody. Blessings to everybody. No matter what. Blessings to retarded people, too. That are weirdos. <laughs> they always got my name in their mouth. Okay? Blessings to them, too. Blessings to everybody that 
that don't understand life. But I'm going to put y'all on game right here. What's up, Facebook? Ty Crandall here with Credit Suite, and today we're going to talk about the fifth and final step of business credit building. So today we're going to map out exactly how you can get cash credit cards, delete credit cards, and auto vehicle financing in your business name that doesn't require a personal guarantee and doesn't require a personal credit check. So today is really the epitome of where you want to be with business credit. This is where you're trying to get to when you're building credit for your business. Michael, welcome. Thanks for coming. So where you want to get when you go building business credit is to get to cash credit cards, Visa cards. MasterCards, American Express cards you can use anywhere, fleet credit cards you can use at a bunch of different locations, even auto credit check because it's in your business name. So as people are coming in, what, no, what's hold on. up Facebook? I'm going to rewind that. Randall here with Credit Suite, and today we're going to talk about the fifth and final step of business credit building. So today we're going to map out exactly how you can get cash credit cards, fleet credit cards, and auto vehicle financing in your business name that doesn't require a personal guarantee and doesn't require a personal credit check. So today is really the epitome of where you want to be with business credit. This is where you're trying to get to when you're building credit for your business. Michael, welcome. Thanks for coming. So where you want to get when you go building business credit is to get to cash credit cards, Visa cards, MasterCards, American Express cards you can use anywhere, fleet credit cards you can use at a bunch of different locations, even auto vehicle financing you can get that doesn't require a personal guarantee or a credit check because it's in your business name. So as people are coming in, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and catch you up to where we are because this is the final step. So I want to touch base on what you so you can get no personal guarantee auto financing and no personal guarantee cash and fleet credit cards. Again, also without the personal guarantee, without the personal credit check. Shana, good morning. Fabian, good morning. Everybody, good morning. Thank you guys very much for coming. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for liking. I appreciate it. What we're going to do is go to the whiteboard here, map out some of the steps, the first four steps, just to kind of get us all up to speed. I'm not going to spend a bunch of time here. If you want to learn more about the steps that got us to this point, you can absolutely, without a doubt, go to our Facebook page, creditsuite.com Facebook forward slash credit suite, and you'll see in depth us map out these steps. But as people are coming in, I just want to catch everybody up to speed with where we are. So when we talk more about the final step, which is what we're doing today, step five, the final step, as we decode this step, I want to make sure everybody knows what you must have done to get here. So just as a refresher, first step in building business credit or getting any kind of loan as a refresher is to make sure that business is set up credibly. Don't skip this step. So many people try to get to where I'm going to teach you today how to get to cash credit cards, and they try to just skip step one through four. It won't work. And they tell me, they email me and say, it won't work. It's not working. So remember, the key to success of getting to where we're going to talk about today is making sure that you do these other steps. Don't even think of ever getting a loan or a credit card unless you've set up your business credibly, a real physical business address, or a virtual address or a home address as last resort. Make sure you get that business phone number or a voice over IP number. Make sure it's listed with 411. Remember, services like EX can list you with 411. List yourself. Even DMB has a service to get that done. But believe it or not, getting your business listed with 411 is one of the most important things to do because a lot of these guys in step three won't approve you unless you've done that. Get that business website and the professional business email address. Set up a business name, preferably not in a high-risk industry. If you go back on our Facebook page, you'll see when we talked about credibility, we gave a bunch of industries that are restricted industries that you should check out. Set up your entity. It doesn't matter what entity you set up. Any entity can build business credit, but a corporation or an LLC is how you truly separate your liability. If you need licensing for your industry, get it. And make sure your business is listed congruently online. This is one of the biggest reasons people get denied for loans at their bank. They go in, they put a business name on the application. The business name is different than what the lender sees listed online. And they deny it because they're not sure that what's 
being listed online is the same as the company that's on the application. An easy way to do that is just do a Google search of your business name and see is your business name, is your business address, is it all congruent? If it's not, change the inaccurate listings. Okay, now a good easy way to do that if you've been in business a while is Yext or sign up. I use Yext, DMB offers the same kind of service. What Yext does is you enter your correct business information in there one time. And then what they do is through thousands of yellow pages, Google, Bing, they make sure all the information is congruent. It's a shortcut. It'll cost you a little money, but if you've been, if you've actually been in business a long time and you've got a bunch of inaccurate information online, it's a shortcut. It'll save you a ton of time. And Quinn, thank you so much for six others shared this. I can't tell you guys how much I appreciate you sharing it. So remember, step one, make sure that business is set up correctly. Never even think about getting a loan or think about applying for a credit card unless you've done this or you'll get denied not know why and if you'll revert back you'll probably see you didn't do one of these things and that's why you got denied and remember different world in the business world they can deny your loan and never tell you why because there's no fair credit reporting act so you've got to do this step once you've done this do a free search with dmb equifax and experience to see if you have a report creditsuite.com forward slash reports gives you a shortcut link to each three of these guys you just simply type in your business name and address and they will tell you if you have a report there or not if you don't no big deal now you know you're starting from scratch if you do then you probably should pull your credit report with these guys to see what's on there. And I'll show you why. These are real credit reports. This is actually from Experian here. And I can show this because business credit reports, all this information is public. So you can see here, somebody's with a, got a really low score of a 35. This is medium to high risk right here. Out of 100 scores, the equivalent of about a 550 FICO score on the consumer side. But you can see that they actually have the score because they have a lack of trade lines. There's absolutely no trade lines reporting on this credit report. Zeros across the board. If I go right here, this is a this is where trade lines would be. So you can see it's different than the consumer world. Nobody, no credit here, none, and a low score. That's why you need to see if these guys have a report or not, because what happens in the business world is you can be given a bad score from Experian, for example, like I just showed you, just because they know you exist. Remember, they pull data from utility companies, from all these different places, and if they know you exist and you have no credit, you just saw a real example of how they'll give you a low score. Alexander, thank you very much for showing up, man. I appreciate you coming. So, second step, see if you have anything with these guys. If you do, dispute it. This, Dun & Bradstreet has an iUpdate service you can dispute with. Experian Equifax, you can do it with credit monitoring. I would never I would never dispute my consumer credit online, and a consumer credit expert can tell you why. But I will tell you that with Dun & Bradstreet, Experian Equifax commercial, it's worth disputing online if you have any derogatory items you don't know to be yours. And also remember that business credit reports are different than consumer reports. Business reports won't tell you the actual creditor name. They'll just tell you the industry. They'll tell you what they call the business category. So you see here, these are two real accounts on business credit accounts. All right, welcome. Thanks for coming. And you can see here that it's just a category, packaging and credit card. Now, if you called Experian and said, what are these two? They will not tell you. They will not tell you the company name. They will not tell you the company name here. But you can dispute it with them and they will go to the company and dispute it uh, and it's either confirmed or denied or confirmed or denied confirmed or it's deleted almost every single occurrence we've ever seen somebody dispute something on their credit report it usually gets deleted asabi welcome so the bottom line is is you've got the second step after you set up that business credibly get your business reports and just see if you have a report or not if you don't then move to step three if you do Pull your reports with these guys, pay for the monitoring, even go to NAV where you can get it for 30 bucks a month to get some of that basic detail. And then if you have anything on there, dispute it if that needs to be disputed. If not, move right to step three. Deidre, awesome. Thanks for pouring into wisdom. Thank you for coming. I appreciate it. So now we're to step one. Set up that business credibly. Check for free to see if you have a report set up with these guys at creditsuite.com forward slash reports. If you do and have negative items, 
dispute the items that you're not sure or can't verify or don't believe they're accurate. And then once you have a clean credit profile, you move to step three, which is vendor accounts. Now, that being said, Christopher, hello, welcome. So that being said, when we get, and thank you guys very much for the likes. I've seen them come up on the screen. I, I appreciate, I'm getting notices when you share. I can't tell you how much I appreciate all that. Now, step three, I have the way of doing this that doesn't cost you a lot of money and you don't need good credit. There's actually three ways to do this step. And the step is ultimately to get five accounts on your business credit reports. That's our goal here. We need five accounts reported to these guys to get to the next step. There's three ways to do it. Step one, use what are called vendor accounts. These will give you a net 10, net 30, net 60 days. So net 60, or let's say net 30, for example. Net 30 days means you've got 30 days to pay off whatever you borrow in its entirety. If you spend a thousand bucks with Uline on your credit, you need to pay that thousand bucks back within 30 days. It's not revolving accounts, but this is how you start a business credit report and score. Sean, thank you very much for sharing. It says seven others. Thank you guys very much. I really appreciate that. Uh, Moran, you're asking how to get business credit. You came to the right stream because I'm mapping that out right now. We're on step three. So after you've set up the business credit lead and got made sure that the step here is and go through and get about five of these accounts. Uline, Quill, Seaton, uh, approve you unless one of these other guys is reporting. Okay, but I've given you some other. Wells Fargo Secure Credit Card will do a personal credit check. Gifts will ask for your social, but you can leave it off the application and still get approved. The rest of these guys will all give you credit. The reason I selected these to put on my board is for two reasons. One, they will give you credit when you have no business credit established now, even as a startup business. There's no excuse or reason you can't get approved for these guys. Everybody can. Second, they report to these guys. They report to the business credit reporting agencies. That's why I've selected these. They will give you credit when you have none, okay? And they report it here. And remember, most of them won't even ask for your social. Give worse will, you can leave it off the application. Wells Fargo will, and will actually do a personal credit check as well. So I don't really recommend them, but a lot of people ask about a secure credit card, so I at least put them on there. Now, there's three ways to get these five accounts, right? Another is if you do have good personal credit. If you actually have, which is now a 685 credit score or higher, you can get five unsecured business credit cards with 0% rates for about 6 to 18 months and get financing for about 150 grand. Even as a startup, you can get up to 150,000 in 0% unsecured, no doubt financing. You don't need good collateral to get it. You don't need any kind of cash flow to get it. You just need a 685 FICO or a guarantor with a 685 FICO. So if you have a 685 FICO or a guarantor that does, go to creditsuite.com forward slash get funding. We'll ask you a few questions. We'll tell you about the financing you can get. Our finance team will help you through this process, help you understand how this option works, and we never charge you a dime. We don't charge you a dime when the deal funds. We don't charge you a dime when you apply. So it costs nothing for us to help you with this. But it only works if you have a 685 score or if you have a guarantor that doesn't. If you don't, don't worry about it. That's why I show you this catch-all solution. Because anybody can do this. Personal credit doesn't matter with this option. The third option is you can pay DMB to do their credit builder. And their credit builder I'll probably talk more about next week. They can take existing accounts you have and add it to your credit report. So if you have five accounts now that are not credit card, landlords, utilities, etc., well then you can go to DMB's credit builder and they can add those five on your DMB report. The only problem is right now they can only do it with DMB. So you still have to build your Equifax and Experian using either the vendor account option or that credit option I pointed out over there. So again, it might be a shortcut to either use this option or use that option if you have good credit, because that'll build credit with all three of these guys, which you'll need to do. Because experience who most credit issuers pull from and Equifax is where banks pull from. So if you use DMB Credit Builder, which I think is a great service, the only issue is you're only building credit with DMB and you still have to do these two using one of these other steps. So my best advice is just use vendor accounts or use good credit if you have it to get credit five accounts at report. That way you're building credit with all three of these guys, not just using DMB's credit builder to be able to DMB and have to go back to these guys. So I've got some other questions. I'm going to kind of come in here and check it out and see to make sure the answer. Corey says, just about to start back to work. At What's up, people? I just wanted to teach y'all something a little bit. That's all I do is teach people. 
But yo, I am the master of all bulldogs, and I approve this message, man. If y'all want to call me, understand this, yo, do your business, man. Do your hobby as a business to make this money. Yo, the IRS is giving money back when you file your taxes, when you e-file your taxes. Get your rights, your shit right. Excuse my French. This is for kids also. Um, excuse me. But yo, you got to get your stuff right, no matter what. Your blessings, man. Thumbs up, thumbs down, doesn't matter. But you'll have a blessed day, man.